What's up YouTube, it's me Kenneth and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to take the most universally known grill, a kettle grill, get you a brisket, throw it on it, and make some beautiful, tender, Texas style brisket. Y'all stick around. Alright y'all, so we got this brisket all trimmed up like I said. I did that trim live on the North Texas Barbecue Attic Facebook group. If you're not already a part of that, go ahead and join it. Make sure you click groups and search North Texas Barbecue Addicts. We're getting close to 240,000 members. But like I said, I trimmed that up live on the group. We're going to go ahead and get it seasoned up with some of my favorite brisket rub. This is from Young Bucks. So let's go ahead and do that. It's got some nice salt, pepper, some garlic, really good size pieces of seasonings there. I'm going to put a good coating on there. And we got the slow and sear kettle. Getting fired up, we're going to do the snake method. We've got Kingsford Blue and some hickory wood chunks in there for the flavor and the heat source. This was right under 14 pounds from Six Brothers Beef Company. I will have their information down below in the description box. Get that padded in. I didn't use a binder today, but you could use a binder if you wanted. You could use olive oil, mustard, um, anything really even just water so let's go ahead and get this flipped over repeat the seasoning process here now this is just for cooking at home getting as much out of it as you can so it's not a competition trim I'm trying to get as much meat out of it after the trim that we can so if y'all haven't checked out young bucks either i'll have their information down below in the description box they got some really good seasonings like i said this is one of my favorite brisket rubs right here there we go I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up with the edges and everything and make sure I didn't miss anywhere and next time I see y'all we'll get it out on the smoker all right y'all the kettle is rolling right about 250 degrees let's go ahead and get our brisket on it's let that seasoning sweat in about 10 minutes now the hickory wood smelling good we're gonna do fat side up we're going to put our brisket on the indirect side. You always want to cook something like this where you have an escape space where it's a lot cooler. You don't want to cook it over the coals. You don't want to pour the coals right in the middle. This allows it to cook it slowly and tenderize and really soak up all that flavor. And then most importantly, also shape it before you close it up. So we're going to go ahead and let that ride for two hours and we'll check on it then. So we're two hours into this cook. The kettle's been running about 300 degrees this entire time. We've got some really good hickory smoke going. It's time to open that lid up and see exactly what this brisket looks like. All right, we're running about 275, 300 on the kettle. Ooh wee, look at that bark y'all. Wow, that is beautiful. That's looking perfect. I wanna go ahead and rotate the brisket so we make sure to have even bark consistently all throughout. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, using our oversized spatula and a pair of tongs, we're just gonna rotate this brisket just like that. There we go. That's looking awesome. We got a beautiful bark on it. The smoker's still going good. Got plenty of hickory in there. Let's shut this down and I'll say we'll check on it in an hour and a half. All right, so it's actually been about an hour longer. The smoker's still been running about 275, 300. It's time to get a internal temperature reading, check and see if that bark set. And if it is, we're gonna wrap it up. So in the last time we checked on it, I did close the lid down because we had it open for a little while checking on it that first time and the temperature rose a little bit. So I closed the lid down to taper that off and then we started to get back to that 275, 300. Let's see what we're looking like. That is a beautiful bark. Looking nice and juicy. That's set well. Let's see what our internal temperature is. 150, 175 right over there, 184. I'm going to call this time to wrap it. Let me go ahead and get my aluminum pan. We'll put it in there and we'll keep cooking. Comment down below in the chat if you wrap your briskets or not. 
check out that bark that's set up nicely that's a big contributor to that young bucks brisket rub we put a heavy layer on there i'm going to put some foil over this keep cooking this to about 200 degrees and uh, we'll check on it at that point all right guys so after we wrapped that brisket it started raining but just to recap we wrapped it at about 154 degrees internal anywhere from 154 to 170 depending on where we were in the brisket um, on an average and we went ahead and kept cooking that brisket to a internal temperature of 200 it was probe tender cooked from around 250 degrees to 300 degrees on the cooker and now it's been resting in the oven on 170 degrees for about two hours now it should be extra juicy extra tender i'm excited to see what it looks like let's get in the kitchen and slice it up there is literally nothing better than a house that smells like brisket like i said this has been resting for about an hour and a half to two hours at 170 degrees in the oven and it should be completely rested and nice and tender let's take a peek and see how we did wow check out all those juices y'all that is a thing of beauty look at that bark we're gonna keep all this juice that's one of the best parts about doing this in the aluminum pan you don't lose any of those juices when you're moving it around and it also helps braise it look how tender that is got a nice jiggle to it i'm gonna get this out of this pan and onto the cutting board and we'll slice into it and see how we did if that's not a thing of beauty i don't know what is look at this perfect colored bark all the way around it we've got my dog brisket we've got real brisket right here this bark turned out exactly how i wanted it to and uh I always know when I'm cooking it on a kettle that a brisket's gonna have an amazing bark. So first things first, let's go ahead and slice right down the middle, right around where the point and the flat meet, right about right here. Oh man, that is just as tender as could be. Let's see what we got here. Check it out. How we do. Look at that guys, tons of juices. Check that out right here. Look at that so much juice nice bark decent smoke ring you're not always gonna get the best smoke ring on a kettle but like I said you got that beautiful bark let's go ahead and slice into the flat here remember the grains run in different directions so look at that this is as tender as can be it is very important to rest your brisket after you cook it for so long so it can soak up all those juices again. Look at that brisket. Ooh wee. Juicy. Still pretty warm even though it's been resting. Tender as could be. Alright, there's the flat there. Let's move that over to the side. Let's get that there like that. Man, I can't wait to give this a shot. Check that out guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the grains run different on the point here, so we're gonna turn the brisket this way. And slice into it like that. Beautiful cuts. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, there's nothing else to do but to turn the camera around and give it a try. All right guys, remember your miles may vary depending on what cooker you're using or what temperature you're cooking at, but the most important thing to do is cook to the internal temperature. I mean, look at this, beautiful. This is from the flat here. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Look at that bark, that fat rendered beautifully. Mm -mm. crucial to make it rest also or let it rest I should say that's gonna make it be more tender and soak up all those juices now let's try a piece from the point now the point is where you would make your burn ends from typically look at that cheers y'all mmm so tender so juicy got a nice hickory smoke flavor this Six Brothers Beef Brisket is amazing. I'll make sure to have their information down below in the description box. Again, look at that decent smoke ring on the kettle grill. Check out Young Bucks also. Such an awesome Texas style brisket. Appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, peace! Y'all keep on barbecuing. Get you a brisket from Six Brothers and throw it on the kettle.